Kia ora, good morning everyone, Richard Wong here, welcome back to the channel. If you are a Elman camera user, there are many Elman lenses that are available in the market, which is really not bad for a relatively young system. However, the number of macro lenses available for Elman are still not quite as good as some other camera mounts. I myself have been trying to buy a macro lens for my S5 for a while, but haven't bought any because of that. But Viewchox has just released a macro extension tube set for Elman cameras, which allow you to use a normal lens to take close-up or macro photos. And the price of this extension tube set is only around 50 US dollars, so it is very affordable. So let's have a look at these macro extension tubes from Viewchox and see whether they are a good choice or not for people who want to do a bit of macro photography using a normal lens. And before we start, just the usual this Kramer, Will Chalk sent me this extension tube sample for this review, but this is a completely independent review and you will hear me talk about the pros and cons about these extension tubes. The Will Chalk's macro extension tubes comes in a set of two. There is a 12mm and there's a 24mm one. You can use them individually or stack them together to get the maximum increase in magnification. The design of this macro extension tube is pretty much standard, but if you have never used any macro extension tube before, basically it is a tube that has no optics in it and it extends the lens slightly further away from the camera and as a result, you can get higher magnification. This Wheelchalk's macro extension tubes also have electronic contacts, so if you use it with a normal Elman lens from Panasonic, Sigma or Leica, then it will retain all the electronic features such as autofocus and aperture control from the camera body. I've tested the autofocus in both photo and video mode and it works fine. When you take photos, the EXIF data would also record all the shooting information. So basically, your lens would work pretty much exactly the same after you installed these macro extension tubes. The only big thing you will notice is that once you attach a macro extension tube, you cannot focus to infinity anymore. No matter you just using the 12mm or 24mm or both of them, the camera just won't be able to focus to infinity. So if you want to take photo or video of far away object, you would need to remove the macro extension tube first. There's no rubber gasket on these macro extension tubes. They are not weather sealed. Wilchox said these tubes are made of metal. Now, while I definitely can see quite a few metal parts, for example, the lens mount is made of metal, the body of these extension tubes feel more plastic than metal to me. So yeah, it just feel pretty plasticky overall. But does it cause any issues? Well, the extension tube fit onto the camera and lens perfectly. With the extension tube mounted, if I try to wiggle the lens, it feels pretty much just like when no extension tube was installed. So I guess apart from it feeling a bit plasticky, it shouldn't really cause any real problem. Unless you want to attach a huge lens like a super telephoto lens onto the camera and not support the lens with anything at all. You probably shouldn't do that anyway and I'll explain to you the reason now. So by how much can this Wheelchalk macro extension tubes increase the maximum magnification ratio? There is actually a formula for you to calculate how it would change the maximum magnification ratio. So for example, if your lens is a 50mm lens and the lens maximum magnification is 0 0.2 times, once you add a 12mm extension tube, the maximum magnification ratio would now become 0 0.44 times, which is more than double the original magnification ratio. If you are really good at maths, you might already figure out this macro extension tubes are most effective if you use it with a wide angle lens or in other words, a lens with a small focal length. If you use them with a telephoto lens, these macro extension tubes won't be quite effective. However, while it is most effective when you use it with a wide-angle lens, a potential problem is that your wide-angle lens may get really close to the subject and end up casting shadow on your subject. And even if it doesn't cast shadow, it would be really hard for you to light up your subject. So I usually prefer to use macro extension tubes with something that is not too wide and not too long. 
This way, the macro extension tubes are still quite effective and there is a bit of distance between the lens and the subject. So let me do an example with my Lumix 2260 kit lens and shoot at 60 mil. Without any macro extension tubes, the minimum focus distance is around 40 centimeter, and this is the photo I got when I shot this Lego minifigure at the minimum focus distance. It's actually not bad for a kit lens. Now let me add the Vilchox macro extension tube, and let's start with the 12 mil one. You can see a big difference already. My Lego minifigure is now pretty much double its height in the photo with the 12 mil extension tube installed. The minimum focus distance is now approximately 27 centimeter. Then I swap the 12 mil macro extension tube with the 24 mil one, and this is the photo that I shot at the minimum focus distance, which is about 25 centimeter. The Lego minifigure is quite a bit larger. And last, I stack both the 12 mil and the 24 mil macro extension tubes together and this is the photo I shot at the minimum focus distance which is now approximately 24 centimeter. My Lego minifigure is once again a bit larger. It's actually pretty large. Compare this with the original photo that didn't use any macro extension tube, you can see a huge difference. And as I've mentioned before, I don't really have any Elman macro lenses myself. So I bring out my Nikon camera and the 60mm macro lens. And this is the photo that I shot at 1 to 1 macro magnification. Compare this with the photo that I shot with my Lumix kit lens with both the macro extension tubes attached. They are quite similar. The photo from my Nikon macro lens has a slightly higher magnification, but the difference is quite small. If you are looking for a cost effective way to take some macro or close up photo or video with your Elman camera, this Vilchox macro extension tubes are definitely a very cost effective solution. You still retain autofocus and all the electronic features. And as you can see, this macro extension tubes installed with my 2060 kit lens at 60 mil becomes almost a one-to-one -one macro lens. I wish these macro extension tubes don't feel so plasticky, but since the price is just around $50, I think the build quality is still very acceptable. So anyway, this is my review of these Vilchox macro extension tubes for Elman cameras. If you have any questions or thoughts, just drop a comment below. And please give it a like if you found this video useful.